Good morning. So Johnny's devotional today talks about how God uses audio visual aids, how he will, um, yeah, use objects to teach us lessons. And um, there's a really good series out right now called The Chosen. You can see it on Netflix or YouTube if you can access that where you are. But it's about Jesus and how he chose his followers and his disciples and how he loved them and healed them and taught them. And Jesus is just so real in this. He's just beautiful and warm and full of humor and humanity. And you can tell he just suffers with those who are suffering. And so that audio visual, it's caused me to fall in love with Jesus all over again. And Jesus in The Chosen, he looks a lot like one of my favorite pictures. And I'm going to show you. So he looks a lot like that. Hair is a little shorter and he smiles more. But yeah, he, he definitely looks like Jesus. So yeah, that's my recommendation. All right, so on to Johnny. Just as the sufferings of Christ flow over into our lives, so also through Christ our comfort overflows. If we are distressed, it is for your comfort and salvation. If we are comforted, it is for your comfort, which produces in you patient endurance of the same sufferings we suffer. 2 Corinthians 1, 5-6. It's kind of a mouthful. But while we were in the hospital recovering from our accident and the loss of our son, a friend came to see me and she gave me a card that says, you have a new ministry now. And it had this verse on it. And she had lost a child at seven years old in a car accident when she was a young mom. And she knew that God had used that experience to enable her to pass on comfort to others like me. And it's really true. We started seeing our suffering as a way to let God's comfort flow through us to other people. So this is a devotional. God uses people as audiovisual aids to strengthen others. But wait, does it mean that the inspiring person is nothing more than an object lesson from which others can learn? Is that person's example only for everyone else's benefit? If so, it makes God seem utilitarian. And we can't have that. When I think of audiovisual aids, I remember the time Bonnie Rennie, a blind woman, read aloud from her Braille Bible when I spoke at a church. We all sat there near tears, listening to Bonnie's strong voice as she read, moving her fingers across the Braille pages. I was so inspired. Here's the neat part. What up, whatever others gain from watching Bonnie gets credited to her account. That's what the Apostle Paul meant when he said, I will continue with all of you for your progress and joy in the faith so that your joy in Christ Jesus will overflow on account of me. And that's Philippians 1, 25 and 26. When other Christians gain strength from Bonnie's example, their joy in Christ overflows on account of Bonnie, and it's being credited to her spiritual ledger. When Bonnie and others like her hang in there through God's grace, it does something for the rest of us Christians. It strengthens us. The body is better and brighter. And how wonderful that God credits it all to the account of those who suffer. Truly, one day the last shall be first. This is great news for you if you think your life doesn't matter or you aren't making much of a contribution to the body of Christ. The way you live your life does make a difference to the whole church and to you in particular. God of all comfort, how marvelous to be reminded that you use my sufferings, not only in my life, but in the body of believers. Thank you for blessing others and myself in one fell swoop. So let's pray. Lord, we just thank you that in our sufferings, you use us as object lessons to other people, that if we keep our eyes fixed on you, that allows other people to stay strong and be encouraged, Lord. So, and thank you that it's credited to our spiritual accounts. I hadn't really thought about that before. It's not that we earn brownie points, Lord, but um, there are going to be rewards in heaven. So, Father, just give us the grace to stay gracious in our trials and to let your love and comfort flow 
into us and through us that it would be a blessing to others. And we just thank you that by your Holy Spirit, this can happen. So strengthen, comfort, and love my friends today. In Jesus' name we pray. Okay, see you soon.